Hi everyone, I'm Libby Marin. I'm the Open Source Product Marketing Manager at Nginx. And uh, Timo and I are here today to talk to you about UNIT, our open source application server. We're going to take you through how we used UNIT to dynamically manage an application. Hi, my name is Timo Stark and I'm a professional services engineer from Nginx. Uh, so I was recently looking through some old books and I found one uh, from my grade five class on space. I bet that was a long time ago. Okay, thank you, Timo. Yes, I don't think it's, uh, it's pretty obvious that I was born before 2000. So uh, everyone, Timo and I were really enthusiastic about space and the planets when we were kids. And so we wanted to build a website for kids to learn about the planets uh, using my grade five textbook as the source. So together, Timo and I built a simple static app in WordPress showing each of the planets in our solar system. We gave each planet a picture and a little bit of information about them. So Libby, um, we used Elementor um, as a page builder to build um, this little gallery for uh, the planets, um, as well as a little CSS-based background effect uh, that makes it a little bit more spacey. Do you like it? Yeah, I think it looks really good. So uh, it was easy when we were deploying this on my local host, but it got a bit messy, Timo, when we were making changes and going back and forth between the two of us. Yeah, I can imagine. So. Basically, that's the reason why I refactored uh, this application a little bit. So I put the whole application inside a container, a Docker container, and posted it on Docker Hub. Therefore, it's, uh, it's easier for you to, yeah, to redeploy the, the application. And inside the Docker container, there is unit as an application server and WordPress as uh, the, yeah, the application. And what I've done here is I just created a small uh, add-on for WordPress showing our planet information in a, in a, in a static uh, JavaScript file. So those informations are at the moment not in, a, in any database right now. Okay. And then Timo, it looks like you've got a domain. Right, yeah. So the domain here is space.nginx.org. Cool. So there's Jupiter, cool. Uranus, Pluto. Oh, hang on. Timo, Pluto is showing up as a planet. That was probably true when my textbook was written, uh, hmm. but there have been changes since then. I think Pluto has been downgraded and it's, it's no longer a planet. Um, our solar system has eight planets, not nine. You know what, I'll go into the JavaScript file and update the planet data based on the info on the uh, NASA websites. Uh, uh, but, I mean, but what, what, what we should do when it, when they change something again, I mean, you're totally, you're totally right, but um, do you know what would be maybe better? We, we don't, I mean, what we can do is, um, we can write an API and get the latest planet information um, from the NASA, for example. And uh, that will save us a lot of time and the need of updating our stuff manually. Um, is that, do you think that will work? I mean, I, I think it will, but um, won't that require having another container and, you know, multi-process handling in Docker is a pain in the ass. Wouldn't this be a little complex for a simple application? Oh, I got your point. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there are a couple of ways of, of you know, creating a second a separate application, but in, in the case right now we have unit, um, what I would suggest is what we can do is we can write an, an, an API and I found an API and like a skeleton for a for planet API we can use um, that's based on Node.js. And as we have App unit as our application server, we can host WordPress as a PHP based application alongside with our JavaScript based API um, on Nginx unit without having the need of 
creating a separate container, linking them together and handling um, the deployment of two different containers uh, at the same time. Okay, so if you use this um, skeleton to create our API and then we can have it as a separate application within the same container alongside mm -hmm. WordPress, uh, is, is the this skeleton you've got, is that written in PHP? Uh, no, let me show you this. I just prepared something for you. Um, okay. So I have, let me close here. Um, I found this little application that's serving a planet service. Um, and have a look. We have all the planet information in here. Mm -hmm. um, and we can use this. And I'm, I made some really small changes um, to make it work with unit. And what I want to show you now, I've prepared something. And what I want to show you now, Libby, is how easy it is to deploy our changes to unit. Um, and then we can curl an API endpoint uh, to see if actually, yeah, that our API is working. Do you, do you want to see this? Yeah, go ahead. Cool, so right now um, we see there is no planet API at the moment responding from, from our unit container. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we, we can definitely change that very easy. So as you can see here, this is our Nginx space container with WordPress and I've prepared something in addition. So the API will be exposed on port 85. Um, and let me show you how easy it is um, to set up this API. So inside of the, uh, in, so inside the container, we have the API right now um, inside the container. It's here, alongside with WordPress. Okay. And I have pre I have prepared um, a configuration file for you um, here, and let's have a brief look into this. So as you see here. Um, that was the default one when we started with a basic right. listener just for WordPress and the application just for WordPress. And right. what I did now is I changed that a little bit and I created a second application and it's our API. I'm listening on port 8081. And all that thing here is for WordPress, application, WordPress, WordPress, WordPress. And here, that's all we, we have to do to make our API work. It's a name of the application, that case API. Mm -hmm. um, the type is external because we're using Node.js. And uh, the working directory, as, as you saw, is var app home slash API. And right. the executable is server.js. And this is, this is just something I've, we have here. Um, and that's basically all uh, we have to do. Um, we have the API code inside our container. Um, we specified an application as well as a listener and we link the listener to the application. And that's basically it. Timo, so what um, I will... the APIs, it looks like you've, that's been written in JavaScript. Does it mm -hmm. matter that it's a different language to WordPress, which of course is PHP? Uh, not at all. If you use unit, um, you have the possibility to use seven different languages in one application server. So that means it doesn't really matter if it's PHP, JavaScript, or Node.js, if it's a Python or Go or Ruby application at all, or in PHP. I mean, you can, you're free to choose one out of those application um, languages uh, and just, yeah, use it inside one application server. That's so easy. And um, let me reconfigure that uh, for you. Um, so this is the simple command here. And let me explain this for a second. Um, as unit is completely based on an API, that means you can configure unit with an, with an API. There's not a single configuration file you have to edit manually. You can edit the whole application server just with an API and send an, an con your config definitions as a JSON file um, to a specific API endpoint of Nginx unit. And that's what we are doing here. 
And the good thing is, as you see, um, it will reconfigure the application server without having the need of restarting anything afterwards. It will just apply the new configuration instantly without any restart. So we have reconfigured unit. Um, and what I want to show you now, maybe is uh, let's, let's have a look inside the current in the unit configuration. So it's localhost config. Um, so here, there's our API. And there is our listener. Oh, that's cool. awesome. So now let's exit the container, go back to my host machine. And as we saw earlier, I prepared something and say, all right, 8081 is our API and it's exposing port 85 on my local machine. Um, so let's curl, let's curl um, the planet API. There you go. That looks better. So now we have an API. That means we have Mercury, Venus, and see this, we have a lot more information um, oh. than we had before. It's, That's awesome. It's got the latest information. Yes, I think so. And um, now um, I prepared a little JavaScript here and I change the way of, of handling those information. And in case I did everything right, we should see now for the next planet, a lot more information because I, I changed the implementation set if the API is reachable and we can read data from the API, we use the data from the API. If the API is not responding, we use this old 2000s textbook data um, okay. to, yeah, it's so for our WordPress site. Uh, yeah, so, so finger crossing. Fingers crossed it'll use the API. And if not, it'll fall back to the hard coded info that we got from my grade five textbook. Right. Oh, look. look at that. Cool. Saying Saturn, gas giant. Um, oh, it's from NASA's eye. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see what we have Jupiter, Mars, our oh, Earth. Back home. Cool. Back home. Venus. Cool. So basically, uh, now we're using our API based on unit. Well, I so know you had to write the API, but that was pretty quick and easy, Tima. Yeah, that's, and that's basically all you have to do. So just maybe as a summarization, what we did, um, we created our Node.js based API as you can see here, um, we integrated our unit HTTP module uh, and all the rest here is just plain JavaScript based on the express framework. Um, then we mounted our code base into the container, configured unit to use our API and expose it to a special port. Um, as we see here, and that's basically it. So that means we just added another application with a complete different language base. It's JavaScript and not even PHP um, to the single application server. That's how it is. So no sec second container, no need of deploying a separate container, handling two containers, linking them together manually or something like that. It's just one container single container with two completely different applications. That's so cool. So we saw how easy it is to deploy a WordPress site inside a container with Nginx unit as its application server and how easy it is to deploy another application written in a completely different language without having the need of spinning up a second container, linking them together and all that stuff that's really painful. Um, so with unit, you can run your applications alongside each other written in completely different languages without having that pain. That's how easy it is and how efficient you can manage your applications. Thanks a lot for joining our session today. Um, check out the project in GitHub. Uh, the link should be on your screen right now. Have a great day.